In this video, we're going to continue our development of the web application using Firebase. Now we're going to create two more routines. One is to save the user's data, this name and password, and we're going to put it in the database. So we'll take all the data from these controls and put it into our database. So let's try the user account first, and then we'll, we'll tackle this uh, Create New Hero application later. So I'm here in the guides for the Firebase application um, documentation. And down here in the left column is the section titled Real-Time Database. Inside there, I'm going to select Web as the subject and now how to read and write data. So let's go and see what we have to do here. There's two steps to reading and writing data. The first is we have to set a reference to our database. And so we're going to need to copy this code. And then later, we're going to use a function called uh, database.ref and then set a value. So we'll come back and copy these code uh, snippets in just a minute. Okay, we're gonna focus on this function here called um, auth state changed. And so this is when a user is signed in. We are going to uh, take a look and see what we've done so far. We've only assigned this global variable called current user to whatever user is currently signed in. However, we'd like to create a collection of all the people that have signed in. I know there's a collection of accounts that are in Firebase, but we would like to have um, a list in our current database as well. So after we create uh, this current user variable, we're gonna call a new function. I'm gonna create a new function. I'm gonna call it write user data. And let's just send the user account to this function. Now we gotta go create this function. And uh, this will be the first use of writing to the database. So we're switching back to the documentation and we are going to create a function that like, looks like this, write user data. So let's just copy this. Okay, so a good place to put this would be in our collection of other functions. So let's paste in about right there. So write user data. We don't have access to all of that stuff. I'm just gonna put in the word user and uh, we are going to use the word user.uid. So this is going to create a branch in our tree, in our database called users, and then the unique ID number of the, the account. And we are going to set only one field in there, the email address. So that is uh, user.email. And the profile picture we can leave out. So we're going to uh, save the data. Let's, let's save here. I'm going to push S, Control S. Let's go check to see where this was called from. We're sending it a user object, and we're receiving a user object. And let's see, that doesn't need a comma. I think it's ready to go. Let's save it, and let's test it out here. So back to our demo, refresh. Okay, we have to create a new account. Who's it going to be this time? Okay, so I'm gonna create Victor at Hogwarts and create a new account. And let's see if there's any errors. It looks pretty good. Now I'm going back to my database and let's check out Hero Maker and see what is in our database now. So this is the first time we've written anything to it. So we've created a users branch and there is a user ID and then finally the Victor at Hogwarts. So you can see that when we created this uh, function called uh, add user or what was it called write user data this is the initial first time that we've written to our database so the key is users slash user ID and then the uh, the value that we put into it was the user's email address so once again see we have users the user ID and then the email address so later on we're going to have uh, another branch in the tree called heroes and so we'll see which heroes were created by which users.